setting up a DA75S. First we'll put the elevator, not the elevator, the backstop on here. Put the screw to lock it down. parts for the elevator. There's cutouts in here. Got the line up with here. Little black. It's right there. This will go up and down depending on what size pieces you're doing. We'll leave it kind of up higher for right now. Side guy just slides in. To set the separation, take these up. Put one piece underneath. Since this one's not being used, I'm just going to actually push it up and lock it in until we start rubbing it into the wheels. Just fall back down and lock it down. When you put, especially postcards, if you want to go to put them in, fan them first. Try to get them broken and separated a little bit. Then fan them and put them in. Slide this up so it's just barely picking up the stack. Slide this over so it's about in the middle of your stack. And slide your guide over. Pull it back a little bit so it's not holding back the pieces. And that's it for setting up <coughs> the back section, the feed section. And in the front, let's get the cartridges in. Right now with the machine offline, hit the cartridge button. Make sure to break blinking lights off. If you're not going to use color, you can leave it out. I'm going to leave it out because we're not going to do color right now. The machine says press any key when you place, uh, hit enter. They're going to ask me to reset the blank ink level. I'm going to say yes if I put a brand new cartridge in. If I'm not putting a brand new cartridge in, I'm going to hit no. Now I can check the feed by just hitting eject. I'm also going to use the knob on the side now to raise and lower the print head. Something that the postcard, anything thin, pretty much going to be all the way down. You have two exit wheels that can slide back and forth. Just want them in a little bit from the edges. If you get a jam, this also lifts up. Just make sure you get it locked down. Use eject button. Make sure they eject one at a time. And that looks good. This the other setup can be done within the software and the print driver. Um, if you get a bad jam, turn this all the way up. And you should be able to pull it out through the front. Also, your sensor. The top portion is this box here. The bottom portion is directly under there, so you can spray in that area with a compressed air. Lift it up a little bit to try to get air in there. <coughs> so you're going to want to clean that every so often. <coughs> Feed rollers just clean with some proper cleaner rejuvenator. 
on if you start having problems with the printhead, you could just wipe this bar off. Make sure this stays nice and clean. Any other problems, give us a call and we'll walk you through some other things. That's it.